apart, we wouldn't have amounted to anything, but together, at least, it didn't matter about money, as only, you know, as long as we got enough, and to get a roof over our head, and stuff like that. The, the thing was, being self-employed, um, and I was unemployable, because of the 17 jobs, you know, and so, therefore, nobody could sack me, yeah. and, um, and, that's why we wanted to work together as well, because the combination made us stronger. So what, what were the skills that you recognised in each other that would make Marin you... Marin could read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. That because, does help. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm taught now, fif spell. 52 years later, I still ask her the same freaking words. Oh. Three, now Dawn is here, <laughs> Dawn, <laughs> Dawn, <laughs> Dawn, our PA, I, I asked Dawn, and I'm, because sometimes Google doesn't even recognise, no way, I'm no near, I, I'm, I'm so far away that it, spell check doesn't even come up with a word, so, um, what, so what, so what, what's what the question? What did you recognise in Neville that helped? Um, building the business together. He has a flair of creativity. Look at the wallpaper. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. and, and I know I know the people who uh, are watching this, if there is anybody watching it, um, won't see our office, but there's 13 different wallpapers there is. Uh, yeah, we, should, we should take some still pictures and put yeah, them yeah, right. yeah, Okay, yeah. We, it's so, no. Neville was creative, which, which accounts for the 17 jobs, because he was always looking for something. Always, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, and you could read. Yes. Okay, that's the skills. What If you if you were to describe each other's roles, Marilyn, how would you describe well, them? Well, Nev would, he would create and come up with the ideas. Right. I still do, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Just in the house. Yes. So I'm not <laughs> but all the mundane things like the books and the accounting and all of everything else, all the boring stuff. Then well, it's boring for me. Hands mm -hmm. over to me. So yeah. well, was you that don't... boring for you as well? No, no, because you, that no. was something I could deal with. Okay. Um, and you come up with the ideas and and you and like to keep everything I in like order I like to don't keep you? everything in order mm -hmm. yeah yeah normally i have a um a, a dog collar on and a lead and and uh, she pulls me back all the time <laughs> she keeps you in check yes i okay. try sit <laughs> i don't know how, how i'm not sure I'm... about whether i succeed or <laughs> not how, how does that work when there's no head <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it, it No, we it did works. work really well together. Did? Though, when oh, I don't like no, that. No, I did. No, I mean, from the start. Yeah. We worked... Right from the start. We worked well together because we were decorating and... Oh, So we, I would do a lot of the prep well. work and yeah. Nev would, you know, hang the wallpaper and... So Marilyn would, would cut the bottom, I would cut the top. ...keep feeding through. <laughs> yeah. So we did... Okay. We worked very, very well as one. together as one. We yeah. worked as one. Yeah. yeah. So, so we probably got through things a lot quicker oh, than if two, you tried to do it on your it own. It is another key point. Two heads yeah. together yeah. Are, are worth five separate ones. Yeah, they definitely. And, and pulling in the same direction. So we went uh, very rapidly into a property maintenance business mm. and we started... Um, renovating houses mm -hmm. and uh, full renovations so then we had to get the electricians in and the roofers and the plasterers the things that we couldn't do but we could organize it so all you needed to do is organize things and be there micromanaging uh, everything because each every penny counted and then Marilyn uh, about 1970 Five, at the end of 1975, um, you said you wanted to have an office. I wanted an office because yeah. I didn't want to have it all at In, home. At home, yeah. So, so you'd be out working all day and then you've got your office 
to uh, you know all the office side to deal with yeah. in the evenings. But you was hairdressing in the, in the evenings. Yes. And you were selling turf over the phone. So you was hairdressing, you're selling turf over the phone. Whatever it you was took. looking you was looking after <laughs> Elaine. Yes. And and also you was doing the book work. Mm. And I was if I wasn't on a building site, uh, I used to be on a building site um, from from dawn. Uh, I've scared loads of people when they've opened the curtains in the morning yeah. to see me with my paintbrush in my hand, painting the window, <laughs> just as the sun was, the light was coming up. And then, it, and then in the evenings, I would, if I uh, wasn't working on the building side, I'd be uh, putting for sale boards up for a company that called um, Buy and Sell Direct. Mm -hmm. So I was going around for them uh, doing that job. So our day lasted from uh, yeah, from from day. when it was first light, before first light in the morning till 12 o'clock at night because people used to say to me, I remember somebody coming in in their dressing gown and, and I was uh, painting the lounge and he said, Neville, when are you going home? I said, I'll go home when I can hear the church bells ring 12. And he said, you'll never you never work for me again. And I tell you, it was a, it was a good customer. Mm. And I was, because, and I thought I'd upset him. He said, you'll never work for me again. And my heart sank. And I thought, shit, what, you know. Yeah. 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 And he goes, and then he smiled. He says, well, not while I'm here. I'm going to give you my keys and you can do all my work when I'm on holiday. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went from a, a low to a high. Yeah. So, so you said that yes to lot, both of you actually. You said the in interesting thing is Neville said always say yes, and but what it sounds like, Marilyn, is that you also were in that frame of mind because you did oh yeah turf selling, hairdressing, yeah, books definitely. Yeah. So having alignment around just being able to say yes to something. Did yeah. you ever say no? We had to earn a living, so you had to do it. <laughs> if you've got your long-term goal of being sec financially secure, yeah. then you don't say no. Anyway, in, in uh, two, uh, no, 1976, auto glass, body repairs just come up. Obviously, she's got a damaged car. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in 1976, Marilyn said, uh, we're going to have a, uh, an office. And then, uh, the, while we was renovating this terrace house into an office, she said, well, I'm only going to spend three or four hours a day doing the book work. So I've got some spare time. And also we've got a spare room in the house. So we said, right, okay, what kind of business, once again, we was in this situation, what kind of business could we start with no money and, and, and no experience? Because it was like starting a window cleaning business, no money and no experience. Well, everybody has windows and they want them clean. So it costs 37 pence to start that. So, what can we start, what shop can we start with no money and no experience? But we realised we had had, we'd got some experience. Our experience was we'd had a baby and we'd bought a second hand pram and a second hand cot and a second hand high chair. So we knew everything there was to know about nursery products. We thought we did. We thought, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so ignorance is this to yeah, say, but if, 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 you didn't, if you didn't do these things, uh, anyway, We've got three hundred pounds saved up, and we spent it on second-hand prams, and we started the shop. And then Marilyn was so busy that she didn't have time to do the book work in the day because she was the only one in the shop. So when she got home, she was still doing the hairdressing, still selling the turf, <laughs> doing the book work for what was now Marvel Properties or Rightway Decorating right, and Property right Maintenance. Decorating, yeah. Yes, first and. Do, their first shop was called Rainbow Warehouse. Yes. And he was doing the book work for that as well. Yes. So, and we thought it was busy before. Yeah. And you were still doing properties. I was doing the property, yeah. By now, I'd got six people working with us wow. and we was renovating properties. Oh, really and we was on the, we was doing work for the city council on schools and um, doing bigger projects. 
and easy projects I'm talking about just in school doors um, mm -hmm. filling holes in corridors in you know it's kind of basic stuff putting slabs around swimming pools so it wasn't actually technical building it was mm -hmm. 